WrestleRumble.com. Make sure you get your predictions in. You have up till 7.59 p.m. Eastern time before the pay-per-view starts. It, trust me, it'll make the show that much more entertaining to watch and, and follow along. And if you keep saying that it'll be so predictable and you know what's going to happen, then this is just easy money then. Easy they money. beat the expert. You could beat an expert easy in the field. Money. But you could beat an expert in the field named Justin Labar. And just make sure you only are signed into one device. Don't let your friends or family use that WWE network. It won't work anymore. Watch yourself. If you're in Pittsburgh and you want to come uh, enjoy some CSR wrestling talk and harass any of us, you can come to the Squirrel Hill Pittsburgh sports star Cinco de Mayo. That's right, Thursday, May 5th, 6 p.m. We'll be filming there. It's part of our CSR summer tours. We'll be uh, out and about, getting out of the studio, enjoying the sunshine, talking wrestling, that's what we do. Let's talk about Enzo and Big Cass up against the Vaude Villains, the Tag Team Tournament Finals. This to be the number one contender to face New Day and what we would assume would be the next pay-per-view, Extreme Rules, but we don't know that for a fact. Josh, who walks out mm. as the number one contender? I'm good on the Vaude Villains. I think the Vaude Villains win. I think you have such a clash of personalities between them and New Day that actually, it could actually be very entertaining. I love when they said, when they started seeing 1999, like, well, we wish it was 1899. It was yeah. clever. They're clever. They're unique. And Enzo and Cass, I mean, <laughs> obviously they're going to get to their point where they're going to become tag team champions. I have no doubt that they're going to become cha champions down the road. But they're already so established with the WWE crowd. It's, it's actually impressive. They're probably the first... Uh, tag team, well not the first tag team, but maybe the first like group of guys that come up from NXT that people just absolutely love. Even Owens, to an extent, he got that pop because people knew him previously from NXT. Neville had a little bit of a it, trouble adapting. Ascension did. All these guys did you know, not those. And two. you know why I think it is? Because I agree. You know why I think it is that Enzo and Big Cass have had perhaps the best transition? It's because their act. We talked about this. Their act uh, translates to Resonates either form. To so many, yeah. It, 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 they, they do one of the simple things, which is when a, when a crowd can, sing, can talk along with you. That's, it's that kind of involvement that gets you in, but they have an act that translates over to both forms, both, both the hardcore fans, the casual fans, uh, 15,000 people in yeah. an arena, and that's uh, what 500 make, people in NXT. That's yeah. what makes New Day so good, too, is because they interact <clears> with the crowd. They don't need, they don't let a crowd hijack their match with yeah. chance. They lead the chance, whether it's New yeah. Day Rock that's, that's a and a point. trombone playing or the intro from Cass and Enzo. But yes, I think the Vaude Villains win this match, same reason, because quite frankly, they they're going to need that title push more than Enzo and Cass right mm -hmm. now. There's a lot more Enzo and Cass can do. I still think at some point, please bring Billy Gunn back because I'd love to see the New Age Outlaws and Enzo and Cass go one-on-one. -on -one. one time. That's this a attitude error mark over here. Time. If you'd like to see Billy Gunn, he'll be uh, in Pittsburgh at IWC Wrestling. perfect segue. That's why yeah, there you go. <laughs> IWC Wrestling uh, Saturday, May 7th. You taking Vaude Villains, Lamar? I am taking the Vaude Villains. Okay. <laughs> I am taking the Vaude Villains. It's an interesting match, though, how they book it. Yeah, you know, a few weeks ago I said I think Vaude Villains just, that's how it, just watch it map out. It makes sense to have. I don't like the thought of, of doing the he, the hot new baby faces and Enzo and Big Cass immediately up against your established baby faces. Yeah. Day. I think it makes sense. Vault villains, they're the new heels in town. Put them up against the established baby faces. You could um, whether the Vault villains just ch cheat to win, whether the Dudley Boys get involved. Again, you can easily segue to Dudley Boys versus Enzo and Big Cass, Extreme Rules, and a tables match potentially. So I think it just it satisfies a lot of a lot of different angles right away. I don't see any reason to do Enzo and Cass versus New Day yet. Let that. Milk. I, I love the segment again. The, yeah. uh, the all three teams. That was a great. Uh, it wasn't too long. It was just long enough. Everybody got their, their crap in, and it was a good illustration of where the tag division is has moved into with with this fresh fresh landscape. Another fresh landscape is uh, AJ Styles and his buddies Gallows and uh, Carl Anderson have arrived. The uh, Good Brothers for Life. The teasing continues of what AJ Styles does or does not know. Obviously, the match is Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles, but we all know that there's going to have to be some. Something happened with uh, with Gallows and Anderson uh, of how they get involved here, and maybe even the Usos if they pull that out as yeah, well. Yeah, they do. And it, it, that is what's going to happen. And I mm -hmm. do not see. We talked about Charlotte not losing a title or Miz not losing the title right away. I don't see how Roman Reigns could lose his title after all the build and all the ups and downs that poor guy's been through. He got his WrestleMania moment. You put him in the spotlight, and then four weeks later, you're going to take the title from him. I don't think so. In some capacity, we're going to see that Bullet Club form, and it might not be announced on Sunday, payback tonight, but it will be on Raw. I've gone back and forth. I don't think Styles wins the title, um, but at the same time, I wouldn't be extremely surprised. I mean, we're looking at Roman Reigns, and I think people are so stuck on the, well, he had his moment, and they put so much time into building him up. The guy's already a three-time world champion, so obviously longevity and championship reigns don't mean as much as quantity anymore. You know, you get your big moment, you could have a good run. 
but but I, I want AJ Styles to win because I think it gives WWE more options and more opportunities for Roman Reigns to reach another echelon that he's not reached yet, but he's not going to. Well, you, Roman Reigns is going to win, and maybe, potentially, you see Finn Balor somehow try to help AJ Styles, but it backfires. This is going to be in front of a very raucous, energetic Chicago crowd. Obviously, you know it's going to be you know, strong heel heat on Roman Reigns, uh, even though he is technically the baby face, or he's the guy. Not a good guy, not a bad guy. Come on. Um, I don't see Reigns, no way, I agree, I don't see Reigns in any way dropping this title. Unless the guy fails a wellness policy between now and Sunday, he's not dropping the title. Um, I don't see him dropping the title, but... Are you I, more stern about this or Daniel Bryan not appearing at SummerSlam? <laughs> That's a great comparison. Still on the Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I don't see Roman Reigns dropping the title, but I don't know if I, I don't know how you declare a win. I think this match is going to be a draw. I think this match mm. is going to be a, a draw. I think Anderson and Gallows are going, Anderson, Gallows, and, and, and whoever else, I think potentially this is just going to be a leave everybody laying kind of thing, tune in Monday. Well, and then, and I think that leads to a six-man match at Extreme Rules. You're not going to have the title match. You're going to have Reigns and the Usos versus Styles and Gallows. See, and that could be a good idea, but I'm serious. I, I really still think that Balor somehow fits into this on Sunday. If you have the last match of the night being this, ends in potentially the Bullet Club or whatever they're going to be called, uh, laying out the Usos and Reigns, even a slight tease could be something very important because WWE, this... This isn't a pay-per-view where they're looking for 100,000 buys anymore. This is Sunday night turning into you have to tune in Monday. Them just laying out Reigns and Usos, does that really get people to tune in Monday? Let's, let's go it's back to the beginning of this. Depends on what other things are The beginning about. of this weekend, we talked about Vince's announcement. Mm -hmm. What if Vince went Bischoff and Vince was the bronze and the brains behind the Bullet Club? Wouldn't be, uh, I mean, I, I, not, without even dissecting it, I mean, it would, it would be, uh, I, I guess, Different. a swerve, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. A swerve. Nobody's yeah, nobody, no, for nobody's it. predicting I that think to happen. It's swerves, right? swerves, right? Well, I, I mean, WrestleRumble.com. I guess you got to be prepared for the swerves if you want to be the one who uh, ends up like getting the five hundred dollars. Wow. Well, so what about you? Don't I be won. a mark. Don't be a mark. Make your mark at WrestleRumble.com. In third place. Third if, place is not bad. Out of like listen, hundred. Listen. Hey. If if you go. ain't first, you're last. Just remember. Okay. That. I'm not Ricky Bobby. I'm the third. I was third. I'm not last. I was, there's uh, ninety-seven other people. Enjoy the show. Makes sense. Enjoy the show. We'll be live tweeting, of Ooh, course, WrestleRumble.com. Good luck to all that play. And again, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, we'll see you next Thursday, Cinco de Mayo, CSR style.